Eifto. Blond, 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 blond. Eifto. This is James Holder for iFilm London. This is the post-fight interview with the still Commonwealth Super Featherweight Champion, Liam Walsh. How are you, Liam? Yeah, I'm sound. I'm um, a bit battered up, <laughs> but yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Liam, a lot of people have said this already looks like to be one of the fights of the year. Do you know what I mean? You and Paul Apple very proper went at it today. What's your thoughts on it, mate? Um, I'll have to go and have a look at it. Um, it was tough, yeah. I got some lumps and bumps. He got some lumps and bumps. And thanks to these people, all these fans who come and support me, they get me up off the deck. They they get me through it. You know, I shouldn't be looking like this. I'm too good looking. I can box too good for this. But hey, we're here. You know, I've, this is. Liam, you know I've had some support out there today. What was it like to have that many people cheering for you, mate? It was unbelievable. It was, it was so loud. They got me off the deck. I mean, I'm on the deck. I'm looking at the ref. He's going seven, eight. I'm thinking that's me. I gotta get up. They're screaming, get up, get up. So I get up, and then, and then the fans are just something else. I couldn't be here without these. You know, what if there was only ten fans in there? I ain't get. I couldn't get off the deck. You know, they lifted me. They lift, literally lifted me off the deck, and and there we are. I want to talk about the last round, but obviously, what you're saying now, round seven. Them shots when he hit you, when you went down, did, did you think it was it was game? No, no, I'll, I'll always, the, the only way you're taking me out is you have to take me out, otherwise I'm getting up, you know. Um, and when he clipped me, I didn't know what I'd been hit with, to be fair. I didn't see the punch, that's always the problem. If you don't see the punch, you're in bother. And then, um, and then I see the ref going, seven, eight, I thought, that's me, up we get. And, um, and then I just had to dig in and give it everything I had, and that's what I did. When that bell when that bell rung, did you just think get your bearings, sit down, come back out? What was the crack with it? Oh, the next round, the eighth. Um, I just thought, right, see see this first minute out and weather it a little bit. I knew he was going to come for me. I got so much respect for Paul Appleby, one of the toughest men in the sport. Um, I thought I've got to weather this out, Liam. See it through. Get from maybe through a round and then get back to work. But um, what round was it stopped in? The ninth or the tenth? I think it was the tenth. Yeah. Um, so the eighth, I just weathered it through a little bit and yeah. Tell us about uh, the tenth and final round, please, mate. Um, I started feeling like I was getting off a bit, a bit more, and Mappleby was starting to slow a little bit. And I thought, you know what, I, I, he's going a bit here. I've got to start stepping on it. And I was digging in. And I was giving it everything I had. I had to. If I didn't give it everything I had, I would have got beat. I'd have got took out. You know, I had to give it everything I had. This, you're talking about a very, very good fighter in Paul Appleby. Well, this is the first show for Box Nation. You've come out on the headline, and you and Paul Appleby have actually. Like gone out and had a war, do you know what I mean? I think everyone's gone home more than happy with what they've seen today. Yeah, I, well, I better go and watch it at home. I don't, I don't, I know it was a good, it was probably a good fight to watch. I'm a massive boxing fan, so I'd have been like, yeah, 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 watching it, but I need to go home and have a watch of it myself. Graham screwing it. No, seriously, it's like Walsh Appleby, Walsh Appleby, yeah. just proper big for dick. Yeah, it was daft, on like my behalf. I think I'm a bit better than that. I can, but I got involved, you know. I said to my brother a few months ago, I said, I want to really be in a war, I want to be in a really good fight. And you got to be careful what you wish for. I think you got your wish, mate. To be so joy, though. Oh, you got to be careful what you wish for in this life, but yeah, I'm happy. Last question: What was it like having your brothers there? Was there a nice, a nice kind of, you know, support? Did it make you dig a little bit deeper? I can go, I can go on here and tell you that my brothers are my life, to me everything. But no matter how, what words I tell you, it's never going to explain how, how close and how what they are to me. We all live in the same house. We have, we sh we sh me and Ryan shared a bed till we were 16. We we refused to not, you know, yeah, we're gay, whatever, but, you know, we said the same room for 20 years. We we now share the same house and all the kids are in there, missus is, that, you know, we, we you can't even explain how close we are, you know, and how much they mean to me and how much I mean to them, you know. Any of us are getting there for the other one in a drop of an app. So, yeah, they're, all, they're me everything, aren't they? Simple as that. Well, Liam Walsh, let me congratulate you again, sir. You and Paul be brilliant fight and well done on the victory. And hopefully we get a chance to catch you again real soon. Thank you very much. Cheers. I've to. London, London, London. I've to. London, London.